Now, today we have among us as Dr. Gurmeet Singh, Associate Professor, Malwa Central College of Education for Women, Dhyana, for presidential remarks. Now, he has been former member Senate PU Chandigarh, ex member faculty of education, faculty of arts, faculty of medical science, business management, and commerce in Punjabi University, Chandigarh. He has been member board of studies in NSS Punjab University, Chandigarh. He has teaching experience of 24 years with 11 students got PhD under his supervision. He has published 53 such papers in national and international journal and written three books. Dr. Singh has published two psychological tools from Prashad Psycho Corporation, New Delhi, and one psychological tool from National Psychological Corporation, Agra. So he has participated in a, as a resource person in many seminars. He has been a subject expert, member of selection panel for Colleges of Education under PU Chandigarh in education, pedagogy of social studies, pedagogy of economics, and pedagogy of history. He has been member of, uh, like member of All India Association of Educational Research and members of various committee constituted by Syndicate Punjab University, life member council for educational administration and management. He is a chief editor of Malwa Journal of Education. On the behalf of all our participants, I welcome you, sir. And uh, uh, now I invite Dr. Guni Singh for his presidential remarks. Dr. Guni Singh, over to Dr. Guni. Thank you, sir. Uh, am I audible, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, respected uh, dignities, uh, participants. Uh, Madam uh, Jayanti Datta has covered uh, all the aspects of the topic and uh, especially the importance and even the problems related to that. And she mentioned about uh, formative evaluation. I would like to mention over here that we are, we from colleges of education, uh, study evaluation and uh, assessment evaluation measurement as uh, one of the subject in our uh, uh, courses. So we actually implement this thing as far as formative evaluation is concerned. Uh, the feedbacks are given to the student during their teaching practice. Uh, in the observation in micro teaching and all. Uh, we uh, always uh, talk of these thing, uh, terms like measurement and evaluation. So uh, there is certain difference then we, when we say measurement, it is related to develop, uh, is, is related to growth and evaluation is related to development. In evaluation, it's a comprehensive term. We cover all the aspects of uh, the development of individual. So as far as these practices are concerned, National Policy on Education uh, 1986 gave a concept of com continuous comprehensive evaluation, which we use uh, at school level, even, even in the colleges at university level, it has been implemented in the form of uh, internal assessment, which we uh, assign to the individual. Then uh, there was a commission national uh, curriculum framework for school in 2000 gave a school based evaluation along with the continuous uh, comprehensive evaluation it has been uh, used since then and then in national uh, curriculum framework 2005 uh, they advocated shift from content based testing and uh, towards problem solving assessment of various projects activities assessment as well as lab work assessment of higher thinking abilities, assessment of participation, interest, 
and level of involvement in different type of uh, activities uh, in the different type of group activities by the student then uh, there is another term which we use over here is uh, triangulation which assessed uh, assist the teacher to accomplish the authentic assessment of the individual this is a process by which a teacher collect evidences of the learning from three different sources these are con conservation observation and learner's product so conservation are less formal unstructured techniques the goal is to determine how much uh, has been understood by the student or if there are some misconception which exists what learner think about their own learning so conservation is there then there is observation which is also uh, used by the teacher the so teacher observes the student in different type of activities during their uh, classroom teaching uh, during uh, involvement of the student in different type of work peers in groups as individual the individual is working or uh, working in a pair or working with uh, in the group so that is done in observation and then there is another part over here and that is learner's product product means the work which is assigned to the individual how that individual completes the work assignments are there projects are there writings are there performance tasks are there so these are also covered uh, by the teacher these are assessed by the teacher and we come to know about the progress of the individual the quality of the work done by the individual then when we come to the tools we all know that there are different types of tools madam has uh, very uh, effectively covered all the tools uh, uh, like uh, the peer uh, that rubrics were there checklists were there and different other techniques but apart from that we have uh, the test part which is uh, uh, most commonly used tool for evaluation to so testing part we have written type test and oral or viva and then apart from that observation is there in written type uh, madam covered uh, uh, during the problems which were related to uh, uh, evaluation she mentioned subjectivity uh, as she gave one example said one particular answer sheet was evaluated by different teachers and we came to know that uh, uh, different uh, marks were assigned to those but that that subjectivity is there when we go for essay type tests but essay type test when we have essay type short answer and objective type test these are uh, three types of test they have their own advantages and limitations as far as essay type test is concerned we use it uh, these are some open ended questions in which the individual is free to express so creativity and expression of the individual can be assessed through this but at the same time subjectivity is there we need to check that and then there are objective type tests we all know that there are objective type type different types of objective type tests are there but there is objectivity uh, in these types of tests then there are short answer type which covers try to cover the limitations of short answer uh, essay and objective type to so we have short answer type test also then we have oral and viva part which can also help us help us to have some idea about the knowledge of the individual idea about the uh, thinking and other aspects of the individual then observation we have uh, we have already covered that ob observation is something which the teacher can use uh, in education colleges we use uh, peer uh, assessment and rubric and checklist i would like to mention over here that when we go for teaching practice those students are given with the checklist and rubrics uh, in which they evaluate their peers so critical observations are there they evaluate that and we have discussion on the basis of this evaluation it's not only that they complete the formality we have discussion after every lesson is completed the teacher along with the people teacher who are uh, participating in that they come and they discuss about the progress of the uh, about the that uh, performance of the individual suggestive uh, comments are there which are given to the individual before i conclude uh, my uh, part i would like to mention over there here that uh, we need to be very particular about uh, some uh, aspects when we are talking about uh, evaluation and we are selecting tools of evaluation madam has also mentioned these things in her uh, presentation and these are very important 
the uh, uh, points related to that and that is uh, reliability first of all the tool which we are using must be reliable then there is validity it must be valid uh, sometime what happens uh, for example when we go with assay type test and we say, say that there is a subjectivity so what happens when we uh, check something with essay type test. So handwriting is also contributing. Uh, then uh, speed of writing is contributing. Spelling and language is also contributing. But sometimes our objective is to test the knowledge, to test the understanding. So there we find that validity is less. So when we select the tool, we need to be very conscious about the validity of the tool. And then there is objectivity. We need to be uh, careful about that. We need to check subjectivity and try to focus on the objectivity. And one last point which I would like to add over here is when we are selecting the tool for evaluation, we need to keep practicability also in mind. Sometimes we select the tool and it's not practically possible for us to implement. So a uh, tool must be practical. Uh, be practically implemented. Uh, we must be able to implement it. It should be easy to design, administer, and score. And uh, in the end, I would like to mention that during this COVID, uh, uh, prop, this uh, pandemic period, we have faced many type of problems related to this uh, evaluation part also. Now, uh, we know that uh, students have appeared online and uh, there are uh, different type of problems related to this. And just one uh, point which uh, uh, some teacher called me and discussed about is it about the evaluation of the answer sheet which has been done during this. Madam ne abhi bhi mentioned kiya ki kisi ko bhi mauka milta hai na, to wo uh, cheating karta hai. To wo cheating ka abhi yaan example bhoat mile hai. Uh, we have come to know about uh, MED result, jo abhi abhi aya hai, uh, Punjab University ka usme bhi pata laga hai to, that is something which we have to keep in mind. We need to check these type of problems which we are facing. And with this, I would like to thank uh, the college for giving me an opportunity to interact with the students. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Gurmeet Singh Ji, for your credential remarks. Now, I request Dr. Sanjay Kumar Dean Sarchan member, I question for vote of thanks. Over to Dr. Sanjay. Thank you, Dr. Ashwini. Thank you very much. So first of all, good afternoon to all present on the completion of this third day of a one week capacity building program on the integration of pedagogy and technology for the teaching learning. It is my proud privilege to propose a vote of thanks on behalf of Multani Modi College and Council for Teacher Education Foundation, CTEF, to Professor Jenti Datta, Deputy Director, UGC HRD Center, Punjabi University, Chandigarh, for her deliberation on appropriate assessment and evaluation process. Pro Professor Datta, you have very rightly said that assessment and evaluation is very important, very critical, and very significant part, but it is ignored and neglected since decades. So it's quite interesting that either we, we are very much interested to see that how you deliberately inspire us to have our own definition of teacher, which will ignite some fire in our minds, what we wish to give to the students. You have given us number of formative assessment methods and how to improvise those assessment methods and how we can use these methods for this evaluation and assessment process. So I'm pretty sure the precious knowledge that Professor Datta gave us will definitely help us in our teachings, learning and future. So once again, I would like to thank Professor Datta for taking out time from her busy schedule and enlightening us with the knowledge. So thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you very much for your talk, for your views, for the inspiration you have given us. So I also express my sincere thanks to Dr. Gurmeet Singh, Senator Punjabi Nasti Chandigarh for his presidential remarks. Sir, we are delighted to hear you. 
you have very briefly and concisely throw light on the evaluation methods and the tools and the processes involved. So also thank you for sparing your valuable time for being with us in this capacity building program. I would also like to thank Dr. Ashwini Sharma, Head Dean Biological Sciences, MM Modi College for smoothly conducting this third day sessions of the capacity building program. I would also like to express my gratitude from the core of my heart to our worthy principal, Dr. Kushinder Kumarji, for providing us this opportunity to learn and being catalytic in organizing this one week program to equip the teachers for their better roles, for their better teachings, and to create a better environment for the students. So I sincerely thank my colleagues, IQAC team, technical and non-technical staff, specifically Dr. Rohit Sasdeva, Dr. Kuldeep Kumar, Dr. V uh, Mr. Vinod Sharma, for, her, for their in, untiring efforts in creating this online platform and creating all these processes which are involved for the smooth conduct of this program. Lastly, but not least, participants and the delegates from the various parts of the country, they deserve a special thanks for being here, for joining this program and making this a memorable event. So I again, thank you all for joining in this program. Thanks a lot. Over to Dr. Ashwini. Uh, Dr. Ashwini, uh, permit me for one minute. Uh, yes, sir. Thank, thank you, Dr. Jayanti, and uh, thank you, Dr. Gurmeet. Uh, Dr. Ashwini, I actually uh, received a suggestion from some of the party spends that uh, it would be better if we uh, speak out uh, the program for next day. But I think we had already put the schedule for seven day uh, in the groups. Uh, and uh, we have informed the participants already uh, through their WhatsApp groups that what will be the program for uh, the next day. It is included in those seven day program. So I think repeating every time uh, is not necessary. It is my take. Uh, thank, thank you very much. And uh, over to Dr. Ashwin. Thank you, sir. As the program has already been mentioned in the uh, brochure, which is sent to you all the participants. Uh, thank you, sir.